This video reviews concisely working out integers or whole numbers which satisfy a given set of inequalities. And there are just three examples here to show how this works. Now in the first one we have minus 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 2. Now in this notation this strict inequality means don't include the number. This one means we can actually include the number. So this is saying in English, write down all whole numbers between minus 3 and 2, where we can't include the minus 3, but we can include the 2. So we can include minus 3, but we can include minus 2, we can include minus 1, 0 is OK, 1 is also OK, and we can include 2, so therefore minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2 are the whole numbers which satisfy this particular inequality. So in the second one, we've now got 5 less than or equal to 2x less than 13. Now, step one, we've got a 2x here. So, if I halve the entire equation first, if I halve this, this and this, I get 2.5 is less than or equal to x is less than 6.5. And I need all the whole numbers between 2.5 and 6.5, which could potentially include the 2.5, but can't include the 6.5. But I only want whole numbers. So starting at 2.5, the first one I get to is 3. Then I get to 4, then 5, and then 6, and then 7 is too big. It's gone beyond the range. So these four integers, or whole numbers, are the ones which satisfy this particular inequality. The last one is just given two separate inequalities. It's a bit like this one. However, they're both equations. So the trick here is just to solve both the equations. So 5x plus 2 bigger than minus 7. I'll take away 2 from both sides first. So 5x is greater than minus 7, take 2 is minus 9. Then divide by 5. x is bigger than minus 9, divide by 5, which is minus 1.8. So x can be anything bigger than minus 1.8. However, there's a second inequality, which is 2x is less than or equal to 12. If I divide by 2, x is less than or equal to 6. So all the whole numbers, which are bigger than minus 1.8, but less than or including 6, if I start here, so minus 1.8, I get to minus 1 first, then 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. I can include 6, so therefore 6 is my last integer. So they are all the whole numbers, or integers, which are greater than minus 1.8, but less than or including 6.